What's up, guys? YPrefBV here, and today um, you're going to be looking at my beautiful face. No, no, that's not the subject of the video. Uh, the subject of the video is actually liftoff, and uh, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be touching base on all the uh, pretty much the popular uh, simulators for FPV and uh, just diving into the features, the options, how does it feel, and ultimately if it's right for you. Um, so stay with me, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at liftoff. All right, guys, so we're in liftoff right now. And uh, first, we're going to go ahead and go over the features of what this simulator actually does have. Um, starting off, we have tutorial. Uh, that pretty much will just go over, you know, pretty basic things like um, doing turns, going hitting racing gates, you know, that type of thing. Um, I'll go into more detail of what everything is and what my thoughts are at the end. Um, free flight, this is pretty much uh, just a free flight mode. You get to pick a map and then you get to go ahead and uh, fly around. I mean, it's pretty pretty basic. Now this is the, the bread and butter, I think, of liftoff. This is the race mode. You can either choose from infinite where you can just keep going and going and going, or you can do race where you do like three to four or five laps or whatever. Um, then we have freestyle. Um, this is a uh, liftoff's attempt to, you know, cater to freestyle guys. And pretty much what it does is awards you points within a certain amount of time and you try to beat your own score. Uh, it pretty much counts if you do uh, power loops, um, flips, rolls, and all that type of stuff. Um, this is another neat feature of liftoff. This is the workbench. And this is where you get to go ahead and uh, you can actually take a frame from one of their um, pre-selected frames, and you can kind of put your own props on there, own motors, battery, FPV camera, kind of build your own little quad there, and also change some settings on it as well. Um, this is the uh, track builder where you can just go ahead and customize your own track. And um, so we'll just go ahead and um, start with, I'm gonna go ahead and start with just show you guys the, um, well, the maps that we got. I'm not gonna click on every single one, but I'm just gonna kind of show you, you know, so we have, you know, quite a few maps and they add some, you know, every now and then. I think the newest one is the pit, which is actually really neat. Um, let me go ahead and get back. And show you guys, it also has a multiplayer mode. Um, you can team up with people or if you have friends that play as well, you can go in here and if you go into a lobby and you guys can do multiplayer, do races, whatever. You can just mess around, do uh, free roam, whatever. Um, and this is the leaderboards, just pretty much just shows you who's ahead because it actually does keep track of your lap times to see, you know, who has the fastest times. And this is another really little neat feature, this is Liftoff Pro League. And pretty much every week, um, what it does is, I think it's every week or every couple days, they'll have like a little uh, championship thing where um, you go ahead and go in here and see all the top guys right now. It's Oforto is the fastest time, 49 seconds. And so you get to practice as much as you want on here. And then when you decide that you're, you know, ready to compete, you go ahead and hit uh, tryout, and it reaches the out. This is 17 minutes to another tryout. So you have two. I have right now two available times where I can try to set a record. Um, so that's kind of cool. The multiplayer is actually, I think, one of the most fun parts of this, um, as long as well as the racing too, and and the freestyle. So let me also go into the options. Um, more about graphics and audio, but. This is where you go ahead and you'll set up your Tyrannus. Um, if you guys want, you can use the keyboard, but it's recommended to go ahead and use your Tyrannus or you know Spectrum, whatever you guys are using, you just connect it to USB. Um, and then you can uh, bind up all your switches and everything in there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys what a race looks like um, real quick. And then we're gonna dive into some of the other little features to show you a little more in depth what I think is uh, really neat about this simulator. <clears throat> From the um, race track right now, and you see the animations. You can actually shut that off if you wanted. I kind of like it. And, you know. I like how it feels. I think I think it's, it's you know it's, some people would say it's a little floaty, um, 
you get used to it after a while. I mean, it doesn't feel exactly what like a quadcopter like you're going to be flying outside. But you know, I actually I like I actually kind of like this simulator. So we'll we'll look at all the simulators and see which one I think is the best, or which one I feel is the best for you guys, because you know this is what this channel is here for for you guys. And you see here the ghost popped out to see if I can beat myself, so which is I think is really neat. So I can go faster and faster and faster. Yeah. So let me go ahead and jump out of this. Just wanted to give you guys a look of what you know what kind of kind of looks like. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the workbench and show you guys what that is. So as you can see here, this is all, you get your blueprints here. And these are all the frames you can pick to customize. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll pick this one. Let me show you all the ones really quick here. So I mean, they have the teal sport, the Vinci B setup, Vortex 150. And another thing too, I mean, that little white part, I think I first came to it, this right here, this is the community drone. So you can actually download other people's drones that they share on Steam. Uh, which is really neat. Um, so I'm going to kind of go into the pick one that's not edited. All right. And I'm going to show you all the options and everything you got to customize your drone. Here you go. So this is where you'll pick your frame that you want to use. You can pick your battery. You can, I think you can go 3S, 4S, I think up to 6S, I believe. Um, and then they have some motors. Um, I think they have some, you know, they have the Lumineers. I think they actually also do have yeah, the hype trains right there. Um, so, I mean, they do have some nice selection and then all the different props you want. Bull nose, tri blades, you can do quad blades. And then you can pick your camera. I usually like the Rotorite camera. That's what I usually use in my real quads. So I'm gonna use those in here. And then you have, um, you can pick your session mount or whatever. It does add weight, and I think it does change the characteristics because you see how the weight's there. And you can also edit the part too. I think you can change the colors or whatever of certain parts. And then the antenna and that. So let me go ahead and exit this. And. We have the track builder here. I'm not going to go too much in depth in there. It's pretty much as a track builder. Um, also, wanted to actually forgot to show you too. Let me go back in the workbench really quick. And you actually can change your PIDs and stuff like that too, and your rates. You can match your rates to your actual existing quads. Um, let me find that here. There it is. Edit flight controller settings. So see, you have a PID controller. You have your rates. Um, pretty much all the options you do have in Betaflight, and they even have some presets that you can use too if you want. Um, the standard settings are actually pretty good. I mean, they're okay. I have some quads where I have my my rates for my real quads on there, and then uh, some of them I just mess around with, just kind of learn new rates or whatever. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into um, freestyle really quick. Show you what that's about. Like I said, I'm gonna just pick this one track. I mean, it's fine, actually. I'm gonna show you a different track. Let's go ahead and show you a different track. My favorite track is actually Hanover. There's so much stuff to do in here. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look at it and I'm going to show you what exactly freestyle mode is. So you'll notice there's a multiplier there. So the more tricks you do in succession, the more you know you have. Oh, I actually have some really crappy rates on here. Let's see, we'll add some backflips. And as you keep going, you'll build up the multiplayer. And I think you have one minute 
to do everything. So yeah. So yeah, this is pretty much what freestyle mode is. Wish they made it longer. I don't know if you can change that or not. But yeah, so we're gonna jump out of this real quick here. And then I'm gonna show you the kind of lackluster tutorial mode. It's kind of, I mean, it, it, I don't know if I'll even dive in pretty much what tutorial mode is. It just guides you what it is, but it doesn't really tell you if you're doing, I mean, as long as you're getting from point A to point B, you're, you know, you're doing okay. Um, but it doesn't really tell you if you're doing it wrong. So as long as you're getting from point A to point B, you're, you know, it doesn't care what it's, what you actually did in the game, if you actually did it right or not. Um, so that's what kind of wish you, they kind of elaborate better on the tutorial mode, maybe make it help you turn and, you know, try to do bank turns and, and whatnot. So, um, and then another thing, let me show you multiplayer mode real quick here. And I mean, you just join them and then you just join a race. I mean, it's pretty simple and you can even host your own. Um, but I think that'll do it for the show. You go ahead and uh, show you guys lift off. So, uh, yeah. So what are my thoughts on it? What are my thoughts on the game? I actually enjoy it very much. I think I've put in about 55 to 60 hours of flight time into it, you know, um, and uh, it is a really, really nice um, simulator. Uh, especially it's on sale, I think on Steam for like 17 bucks or something like that. Um, and they're always updating it. They're always adding new things. And uh, I think it's exciting to see where this actually came from in the past. Uh, and then now where it's at now. Um, I think in the past it didn't have freestyle mode. It didn't have um, certain other things. Um, but they added those things in there. And they, they're, they're working on it every day. So um, I would give this thing, you know, a buy, you know. The thing is, thing is amazing. Um, you have to just get over a little bit. It is a little floaty. That's how it feels. I mean, you're not going to get a simulator that feels exactly like your quad. Um, but this thing is a really good thing, especially for beginners trying to get into the hobby. Um, you're not have to worry about smashing your quad. You get to learn, you know, muscle memory. You get to learn um, all the uh, fantastic things uh, that do make um, lift off, lift off, and to get you guys flying. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and um, hey, stay tuned to the channel because I'm going to be doing some more simulator uh, reviews, and I appreciate you guys watching. Peace.